Hey y'all, so welcome to my channel, or welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'm trying, trying something new, so please be bear with me. Not only do I not do voiceovers, I'm also sick, so this is a lot, but I don't know, I just want to try something new. So in this video, I am showcasing a little bit of my silk press technique. Um, as you guys can see, I use a pressing comb, stove pressing comb, or Marcel pressing comb, whatever you want to call it, and a Marcel flare iron. The pressing comb is by Golden Supreme, as well as the stove, and I believe I'm trying to look really close to the screen, but I believe this particular flare iron I'm using is by Kazori. Um, in my personal opinion, Golden Supreme and Kazori are like the best when it comes to Marcel's. I like Golden Supreme, but I'm gonna post another video and explain why I like the uh, Golden Supreme Furling Eyes. The flare eyes you can use either or, but I like Golden Supreme Furling Eyes better when it comes to Marcel's. But we'll get to that in another video. So, as you guys can see, I take um, kind of slim sections. I press the roots out first with the uh, pressing comb, and I do that because you know I want to make sure all of the root is completely, completely um, straight. I guess I could do it with the. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> like I got to sneeze, but I'm trying not to. Um, I know I can do the whole thing with the flare iron, but I feel like pressing the roots out first before. Just to get them straight and then doing the shave with the uh, flare iron is a little less stressful for the client because they don't feel like they're going to get burnt because I don't know if you can see how thin the plates are on the flare iron but they're like very thin and if you get too close to their scalp a lot of people flinch. So it's just that and plus I don't have the um, they have a pressing pad for your hand if you want to press the whole head whole shaft out whole section out I'm sorry I'm all over the place but just bear with me the whole section out with the uh, pressing comb they have a pressing pad to do that <sighs> Oof. I don't know how y'all do this I'm not re-recording this so just bear with me um so yeah this is just my preferred technique I love my Marcel's call me an old lady call me what you want but ooh, I'm never gonna stop using them I personally feel like Marcel's give you a better, um, a better price, of course, a better finish. The hair is shinier. I just, it's just overall better. But I will say that you definitely have to be confident in yourself and your abilities when you use them. I know that they no longer teach them in cosmetology school at all. Like so many people I know, even the um, young lady that's in my chair right now. She was supposed to be my assistant a long time ago, but we're not going to get into that. But I remember when she first came in for her interview, and she was like, can you please come to my school and teach them how to use Marcel's? Because they don't do that. And that's just so weird to me, but I did graduate from school a long time ago. I was you how long ago, but a long time ago. And <laughs> it was so long ago that flare irons were literally just like becoming popular i think the only irons that were available probably like shit or something and you had to pay more to even get your hair flare iron so yeah that's how long ago i um i heard the way to cosmetology school so um yeah i really feel like the video is like kind of self-explanatory as far as my technique i'm just pressing it um boots out first the pressing comb and the shift the rest of the shift down with uh the Marcel flare irons. Uh I feel like with any hot tool that you use, you have to be mindful of not only the heat setting but your client's hair texture because I've noticed that a lot of people who use um regular electric tools they usually go to the highest heat setting and most people almost nobody needs the highest heat setting is which is normally 450. I don't care if you're using ceramic or titanium. 
you really don't have to use 450 to get anybody to your street. That's just my personal opinion. But what do I know? Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you definitely have to decide to be mindful of, you know, the client's texture and uh, your heat setting. You need to use a good quality heat protectant. I use heat protectant throughout my whole, throughout the whole service. So from the blow dry, they're getting a leave-in, they're getting blow dry spray, and typically another type of heat protectant, depending on what I feel like their hair needs before I even blow dry it. And then before I press their hair out, they're also getting some type of heat protectant on their um on their hair. So yeah, I'm as much as I love heat, I do want all my clients to have the option if they want their curls and I don't want to be the cause of any damage. I'm also a stylist who likes to tell my clients no. If I feel like it's not going to benefit your hair, if it's going to damage your hair, I will not do it. I'm not money hungry. I'm all about hair health, hair care. So, um, yeah. Whew. This voiceover is hard, y'all. I don't know how y'all talk for this long. I had a whole plan in my head, but it's not turning out that way. <laughs> I don't know. I guess comment down below as to you know if you prefer any of your hair pressed out for more cells or with a flare iron and why and if you're a um, stylist what's your preferred cooler choice because I feel like just like with anything it's multiple ways to get to the same result or similar results it's just a lot of time you need a preference and if um I don't know, and if you're a cosmetology student, student, do you wish they would uh, reintroduce Marcel back in? Because I've all I never stopped using my Marcel's, but on Instagram, I'm starting to see a lot of more style. Well, a lot of more. That sounds crazy. A lot of stylists starting to use their Marcel's again. If you like, I said, if you look on my page, that's always been my my thing. I never stopped using them. So, if you're in cosmetology school. I don't know what I did, but yeah, if you're in cosmetology school, just let me know if you'd like to um, learn to use more cells again. And with that, I think that's it. Um, let me just finish watching the video. It's almost done. Unfortunately, I did not finish <laughs> recording this whole thing. Again, it's like two years old. And in my head, when I'm recording, I just know how I want to record and everything. And it's always chaotic. Uh, <laughs> so just, just finish watching. Um, the rest of the video and again please comment below because i really want to get this discussion going as to how you guys feel about more cells or just um just your preferred techniques because i'm i'm always a student and i like to learn from other people so just let me know how you feel about more cells or anything you want to talk about just comment below see you next time don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.